Welcome, Epic Kids. We are glad you're here. You are Epic. And Epic stands for equipping power, prayer, and purpose in our children. Did you know that God has a purpose for your life? Well, he does, and that's what we're going to learn about today. We're going to learn about purpose. And I wish that we could all be together as we do because we are missing our children. We're missing our children that come with their families. We're missing our children that come on our buses. We miss you, and we can't wait till we can all be together again. But until then, I want you to get up, dance, sing, pray with us, have fun. Tonight at 6.30 and Tuesday at 7 p.m. here on this YouTube channel, we will be back for our regular services. You don't want to miss it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Got some tools for us. Check this out. Check this out. Check out all these tools right here. I got a hammer for hammering nails and whatnot. I got a big old spoon for mac and cheese or whatever. I got a log splitter, wood splitter thing. I got a wrench, building stuff. I got a fork, big old fork if you're really hungry. I got an Allen wrench for building more stuff. I got a socket wrench for fixing something. I got a broken saw thing. You know, you never know when you need to use it. I got a drill bit, drilling holes. I got, I got all kinds of tools. Each tool is useful and special and has a purpose to it. See, these tools are a lot like us. God's given each one of us special gifts and abilities, and, and talents that we can use for him. And God wants to use us. God, some people think God can only use like preachers or pastors or singers, but that's not true. God wants to use all of us. Or some people think they don't have any gifts or any talents or anything like that or abilities. That's not true at all. We all do. God has given everybody special gifts and talents for us, to, for him to use us and for him to flow through us to reach others. And God has a plan and a purpose for all of us, everybody. It's awesome. Well, hi, everyone. Did I make it back in time for Sunday School Live? I heard this week was about God having a purpose for our life, and I heard that you messed up my signature move last week. Oh, well, hey, squirrel, man. Um, are you going to walk away from me? What are you? Yeah, is it just me, or is it getting, like, crazier and crazier around here every week? pretty normal to me okay well anyways yeah we're, we're we came just in time we was just about to announce last week's winners well that's great and everything but it's gonna have to wait a few minutes you see i know you're just dying to hear about my trip to hawaii when i have some very breaking news to uh, to share as well what's that i have finally discovered god's purpose for my life you, you did. see my whole life i've been wondering if I would ever be anything more than what I've become. You know, ever since I was a small, small squirrel boy. Squirrel I've boy. I've just been wondering what I would be. And, uh, you know, the pain and agony and pure loneliness of not knowing if I would be more than this fantastically strong superhero that I've become. That sounds pretty rough. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, I I'm tired of getting cats out of trees. I'm a superhero, not a normal hero. Just blending in with all these normal people is, is very difficult with all these super squirrel powers. You know what, Squirrel Man, um, haven't you only been like an imaginary superhero for like six months or so? Imaginary? Are you kidding me? Well, okay, hold, well, slow up. You're going to choke or something. I mean, what is that anyways? <coughs> what are you drinking? Hawaiian Punch, of course. You know, uh, it's the native drink of Hawaii. It comes in green, blue, red. Blue, red, green, green, blue, red. I've been drinking right. this stuff all, all week. Right. He's, he's <laughs> lost his mind. He's cuckoo. I know he has. Well, anyway, we got a show to get to here. We, we got we got to go here. Okay, I guess. If you're going to rush me, my big announcement is I'm going to be a missionary to Hawaii. What? Hawaii? I mean, did you even pray about it or anything? I mean, how did you come up with that? Well, no, I didn't pray about it. But but an angel visited me while I was, uh, you know, surfing with the uh, the natives there. Really? Dude, all of that sugar has got to be messing with, like, your squirrel brains or something. I'm serious. I was out on the waves, you know, doing my thing, and a big wave crashed on top of me, knocked me out, dragged me under the water. While I was knocked out under the water, this shiny, glowy dolphin with a halo on his head 
how I knew it was an angel, came up to me and said, hey, dude, you should probably be a, a missionary to Hawaii. I said, hey, that sounds like a great idea. Interesting. Then we high-fived, you know, I slapped his fin, and then we swam around for a little bit, and then I passed back out. When I woke up, there was three natives in grass skirts dragging me to shore. They said, big rock, bang head, fall asleep for a long time. But I'm okay now. I, I see. A shiny, glowy angel dolphin talked to you. Yeah, apparently God likes to talk through things that start with D, like donkeys and dolphins. And, and he probably talked through dinosaurs, you know. I don't yeah, know. okay. Well, I don't know about that, but he may, he may. He's God. He can do anything. But I'm not, I'm not one to say what is or isn't God's purpose for your life, but... You should probably really pray about it and really seek God about it and maybe talk to, like, a Sunday school teacher or pastor about it first. I guess it's a pretty good idea. Well, I'll go pray about it yeah. and, uh, uh, you know, prep this week's weekly challenge, and, and I'll be back later. See you, Jamie. Please do. I'll see you, Squirrel Man. Hey, Come coming up next, Courtney and Ashley. Today's lesson is going to be about Queen Esther and the purpose that God had for her life. Just even though she had a purpose, she still had to prepare, all right? She had to learn how to walk and talk like a queen. And so my friend Ashley, she's going to teach me how to walk like a queen today. All right, so we're going to stand from this side. We're going to put the books on our head, and we're going to gracefully walk across the stage. All right. You ready, Courtney? Let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try that again, but maybe this time a little bit slowly. Slower, yeah. All right, so let's put it back on our head. We're gonna stand up nice and tall, and we're gonna walk with great stride. You ready? All right, oh. <laughs> maybe that was a little too. Let me see, yeah. Okay, you ready? Let's try it again. We're gonna go slowly, nice and tall. Ready? All right, there you go. Okay, let's see if we can turn it around and walk the other way. All right, you ready? Let's go. <laughs> I like that. All right, great. All right, we did it. Awesome. Good job. Thank you, Ashley. That was so much fun. All right, just like Esther had to prepare, we have to prepare. In order for us to live out the purpose that God has for our lives, we have to pray. We have to read our Bible. We need to come to church so we can draw closer to God so that he can speak to us. Remember, you have purpose, or God has a purpose for your life. Hey, kids, are you ready for today's memory verse? We're ready. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today's memory verse is Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. What does that mean? It means God has a plan for each and every one of us. He knows what we'll be good at. He knows what we'll struggle with. He knows what jobs we'll do. He has a purpose for each and every one of us. If we follow the plans that God has for us, our lives will follow the path that he has for us. He knows the purpose that he has for us. Now, we have these balloons, and we're going to play a game. Are you ready to play the game with us? All right. So the way we play the game is, I'll say the memory verse, and she'll pop the balloons. So we'll say the memory verse and pop the balloons. Are you ready? All right. She's ready. We're ready. Let's go. All right. I'll say the memory verse now. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Woo! Hey, that worked. Yes. All right. Let's do that again. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Woo! All right, let's go on. All right, let's clear the board. Let's go again. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Woo! All right, almost done. Are you with us? All right, let's do this. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Woo! 
she cleared the board. Yes, did you get it? Let's go over it one more time. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. And remember, God has a purpose for us. All right. Good job. Good job, kids. You did great. Woo! All right. Awesome. Yeah. And this song that we're going to do is talking about God having a purpose for us. When we walk with God, he directs our paths, and then we can fulfill the purpose that he has for our lives. God has a purpose for us. Kids, it's so awesome to know you're tuning in today. I'm sure you all have heard that today's top truth is God has a purpose for us. Well, I'm going to tell you all about a girl in the Bible who had a very special purpose. Her name was Queen Esther. And that's where I come in to show you all how regal Queen Esther was and how she ruled the people. She had lots of servants, and they waited on her hand and foot. She got to dress up, she got to hire people and fire people, and she had a lot of power, and she used it because she um, could. No, that's no? not what happened. Queen Esther was humble and nice, and she was kind to all of her servants. She wasn't any more special than any of us. Really? Well... I know I've heard this story before, but I must be get, getting it confused with another story. So you're saying that Queen Esther was just normal people like you and I? Absolutely. Well, I probably don't need this red carpet. No, we don't need it. Get rid of it. Sorry, guys. So how did Queen Esther become a queen 
if she was just basic people like all of us. Because God had a purpose for her. See, the king was looking for a new queen, and God placed Esther in the right place at just the right time so that the king would see her. He invited her to his palace for queen tryouts. Ooh. She couldn't say no to the king, so she went. She had to go through a long and difficult training, but even though it was hard, she could do it because God had a purpose for her. Not long after she became queen, there was an evil man named Haman who decided he wanted to kill a bunch of innocent people. Yes, I remember this part about Haman. He was a really bad man. And the very people that he wanted to kill was Queen Esther's people, her family and friends. The crazy part about this is that the king was kind of like friends with Haman. So Haman tricked the king into making this law against Queen Esther's people that they would have to die. Yeah, but you know what Queen Esther did? Tell him what she did. After she got a secret message from her uncle that her people were in danger, she began to pray. And not only did she pray, she had her uncle tell the people to pray as well. Even though she was scared, her uncle told her that God had placed her there for her, this purpose because he had a purpose for her to fulfill. The next part, you guys, is kind of scary. And she had to be so brave. Queen Esther decided that she was going to go before the king and tell him how Haman had been tricking him. But even though she was married to the king, she couldn't just go before him and be like, hey, yo, king. Because back then, you had to have a special invitation to go before the king. But at the same time, she couldn't just not go, right? That's right. So back then, if someone went into the king's room uninvited, he could have them punished if he did not accept their presence. So Queen Esther was taking a huge risk. We had no way of knowing if she'd be accepted. But she knew God had a purpose for her, so she trusted God. So when the day came for her to see the king, she pushed open those doors. And do you know what happened? Do you think the king accepted her presence or did he not? Let's find out. Let's yeah. use Jamie. Hey, Jamie, come over here. Come be the king. So he knows the story of Queen Esther, and he's going to be the king. And I'm, of course, Queen Esther. So if he accepts my presence, then he's going to raise up this golden staff. And if he doesn't, he's going to keep it lowered, and then I could be punished. All right, kids, let's see what happens. Does he accept her presence or not? Esther's presence. This is great news. Queen Esther then began to tell the king how she would like for him to come to dinner and to bring Haman with them. The king agreed, and so the next day, the king and Haman came and had dinner with Queen Esther. The king knew Esther must have something really important he wanted, she wanted to ask him. So the king gave her an opportunity to speak. She began to tell the king how Haman had planned to kill all of these people. The king was so mad, and he reversed the law against Queen Esther's people. And then he told his guards to come and take Haman and kill him the same way that Haman had planned to kill all of those innocent people. Can you see how God worked and used Esther for his purpose to save those people? Yes, I'm sure Esther didn't know at the time that that's what God had in mind when he purposed for her to become queen. That's why it's so important for us to follow God's direction so that we could eventually fulfill the purpose that God has for us. I think now would be a really good time for us to pray and ask God to help show us his purpose for our lives. And then once we find out that purpose, that he would help us to fulfill that purpose. Janae, do you want to lead us in prayer? Absolutely. All right, kids, wherever you are, let's just close our eyes and bow our heads and pray along with Janae. Lord, we thank you so much for today's lesson. Thank you for teaching us about purpose. Help us to daily pray and ask you to help us to follow in your will and to find out what your purpose is for our lives. Help us to seek you, to pray, to read your word, and to do all that we can to be the best that we can for your kingdom. Lead us, guide us, direct us in all that we do. We ask that you would bless us and keep us, and we thank you, Lord, for the purpose that you have planned for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That is one of my very most favorite Bible stories of all time. I love to 
see how God worked in her life to save a whole nation. That was his purpose for her. Yes, God has a purpose for all of us. And I cannot wait to see what great things all of you are going to achieve that are listening today. Yes, it's so exciting to see what God's purpose is for us. Hey, hey, Squirrel Man! man. Uh, doing the memory verse and posting it to Instagram or Facebook. Make sure to tag ALC Dayton. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to have a lot of fun, and you can win some really cool prizes. So That is awesome. Awesome. Make sure that you like us, share our page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need prayer, please call the number on the screen in front of you. We all do, not, do need a lot of prayer during this time. So do call and we will pray along with you for your need. Don't forget, tonight at 6.30, Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, right back here for our worship service. This channel is not just for kids, even though we do have a lot of fun. Other than that, kids, we'll see you guys next week right here at 12 o'clock. Have a great week. Bye. Bye-bye.